Virtualized Geek Tech Talks Episode 13 Software Defined Data Centers. Hey, how's it going? You're listening to Episode 13 of Virtualized Geeks Tech Talks. If you haven't noticed, uh, I'm a day late. If you listen to it later on in the week, hey, I'm not late. <laughs> We're, uh, well, today is May 14th, Tuesday. And uh, tonight's topic is actually software-defined data center versus cloud computing. I think um, there's a little confusion, obviously, between what software-defined data center is and what uh, what a cloud is. I think uh, just similar to uh, a little bit ago, there might have been confusion confusion around what's virtualization versus cloud computing. I think uh, as we as virtualization and software-defined networking and software-defined storage matures into a software-defined data center uh, way of delivering technology, there can be some confusion ab about what's the difference between software-defined data center and uh, cloud computing. So I think the best way to look at this is to look at the NIST definition of cloud computing and kind of compare that to software-defined uh, data centers. First, let's talk about the components of software-defined data center first to make sure we're all on the same page. So from a software-defined data center uh, perspective, you have three components. You have the software-defined networking stack, which is uh, SDN. That can be delivered uh, a number of ways, but basically is a big umbrella to basically say that your uh, network is uh, controlled via software. It can be delivered as part of a virtualization strategy, uh, hence VMware's uh, NXX platform, as well as additional extraction for the control plane. But basically, that's all uh, software enabled and controlled. That may actually be a unicorn compared to the other two uh, software stacks we're gonna talk about. Uh, the second one is software defined storage, which is the ability to abstract storage from the physical layer and present that to your data center via software. So just like we're presenting the network via software to our resource consumers, we're uh, presenting the uh, storage to our uh, resource con consumers via a software interface. So it doesn't matter if you have Hitachi, EMC, um, uh, white box storage, back ending your storage that's presented to your uh, virtual data center or virtual infrastructure software defined infrastructure via some type of software interface then of course we have something that we're all very familiar with which is the virtualization stack for compute so your uh, vCenter environment your Zen uh, server in your environment, your KVM, Ubuntu, Chronicle, Chronicle whatever you want to use to virtualize workloads uh, from an x86 perspective, you have those components. Those are the three components that make up a software defined uh, data center. Then, of course, a, on kind of uh, the big umbrella that encompasses those three components would be some type of management suite that would manage your uh, software defined data center. So now we're going to move the discussion over to cloud and define cloud. So cloud is defined by uh, five characteristics. Uh, your cloud, your infrastructure has to be elastic. So virtualization and software defined data centers are elastic. Uh, they have to be measurable. The service that they deliver, deliver have to be measurable. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. That can be questionable in your SDDC environment. Uh, the service has to be available over a broad medium, such as uh, some type of broadband network. It can be fiber, internet, whatever. Obviously, if you're going to go for software-defined network, it's going to be uh, some type of broad network. Uh, the service needs to be, you know, I'm forgetting my three. I, we have Elastic. We have, oh, I'm sorry, it needs to be pooled. And then it also needs to be uh, self-service. So uh, 
an end user needs to be able to uh, provision the services without the interaction of administrators uh, of your service. So, you know, looking at those five capabilities, two of which kind of stand out that software defined data centers don't necessarily have to be. Uh, the service doesn't have to be pooled. Uh, you don't need, uh, you don't have to have pooled resources. Uh, it doesn't have to be measured and uh, uh, the service doesn't have to be measurable. So it doesn't have to necessarily be a pay as you go type of model where users get paid for only a limited amount, the limited resources or the expansive resources, the elastic resources that they use. The other three, uh, software defined networking kind of falls into. So, you know, why are we talking about cloud computing versus software defined networking? The reason I uh, looked at a uh, from the Open Summit, OpenStack Open Summit uh, forum that happened a couple of weeks ago, Randy Bliss of Cloud Scaling kind of called SDDC a unicorn. Uh, basically, that it's a pie in the sky hyping uh, some strategy that enterprises really can't strive to. They can. Um, most definitely implement OpenStack and OpenStack type technologies for their uh, IT service delivery model uh, when it comes to building new applications. But when it comes to migrating your data center from kind of the heterogeneous environment where you have a bunch of different uh, technologies back ending your data center to something that's software defined where you can control the entire data center from a software stack that that's not quite possible. And, you know, I've given this quite a bit of thought to think, you know, what is software defined data center kind of a kind of a, a, a pie in the sky marketing hype term? And I have to be honest with you, it, it may be a little bit uh, wishful thinking on my part, but I don't think so. I think you can actually build a OpenStack cloud based on a software defined data center model. You know, you can take all those components just because um, just because cloud is an SDDC doesn't mean that uh, you can't use SDDC to build cloud. You know, I can make the argument that you can go with a completely software defined uh, architecture to build a OpenStack cloud. Now, the part that I do give Randy some credit on is that when you take a look at what it takes to build a true SDDC environment, you need software defined networking. And to be honest, software defined networking isn't where it needs to be. Uh, networking is still a very protocol driven uh, market or a very protocol driven discipline where we're not controlling and don't have the APIs from the uh, SDC world to truly drive software uh, or a vCenter type or a vDirector type uh, control application to completely provision and control a network. So in that sense, I think SDC might be a, uh, at a unicorn state right now. But I think long term, when you talk about can a organization move to software defined data center as a strategy and an architecture, I think it's possible. I think over the next few years, SDN will get there. The management tools for your software defined data center will get there and we will move to a model where we can manage uh, an entire data center via uh, some centralized software interface and then provide that infrastructure, I'm sorry, provide that infrastructure up to uh, an open stack, a cloud stack, or whatever, a, a nebulous, or whatever you want to use to uh, uh, provide as an API to your uh, consumers of your cloud and infrastructure. Well, that's, uh, I'm giving you a couple of minutes back of your time. Uh, we usually go 12, 11 to 12 minutes, and we're stopping at about 10. I uh, appreciate you guys listening to Virtualized Geeks Tech Talks. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks.